The defensive player of the year in the Summit League last season. And Tori DePerry for South Dakota. Tip it off, and we are underway. And she cannot finish off the window. Grace Lark Larkins puts her foot on the gas and rattles it home. She has struggled in her last three games, but I tell you, she's had stretches in this season where she's been a 20-point per game score for them. On the other side for South Dakota, Larkins obviously gets a lot of the attention. Walker to er, Demers after transferring in from DePaul. Learn a little bit more about that tonight coming up at halftime. First three of the night rattles home for Emily Council, and the Piles are on the board. A lot of movement here offensively for South Dakota here. Kendall Holmes puts it on the floor and lays it in. Went right past Emma Smith. So Walker to Mers. Rare opportunity for her outside. Offensive rebound. A little fall away put back for Tori to Perry. That has to feel good for Tori. Yeah, they like to let her use her quickness to get into the paint and then kick and distribute for threes. And Lost the handle. Kendall Holmes. Goes around, Council for the finish, plus the bucket. A chance at a three-point play here for Holmes. That's tough, that jump stop to not travel. Not going to find her way past Larkins. Jones kicks it out. Jocelyn Wyatt is out there, number 12, and that one drops. Five. And that's good hustle there by Wyatt to keep that play alive. Jones for three. A lot of times a hustle play like that, you got the defense then scrambling if you can't save it. Missouri connects from downtown. That's the first three-point make of the night. It's of action. They really did. They shot 60% in that first quarter on way. Good ball movement here. Leads to a good look for Holmes. And you don't want to leave 35 all alone outside. And how about USD's start here offensively? They are blazing hot, shooting 64%. Jones misses at the other 23, end. 23, and USD has come out blazing hot. USD, the last possession, just a pass to the wing that they don't handle, results in a turnover. They almost turned it over there, bringing it up the floor. But when this team hasn't turned it over, we've seen it in this game. Good hustle here by Smith. And her shot blocked. By Avila Ambrosi. Take some chances. See if you can get some turnovers. Create some offense with your defense. Missouri wants a second if she's splat. Boy, that looks awful wow. nice off the hand. The two she's taking, Brad. Coyotes start this quarter. Hempy. Duffy, Larkins, Holmes, and Demers. And it's Hempy. Hempy gets it inside, tough pass to Duffney, tries to throw one up and was off balance. That one was looked pretty doomed from the start. Yeah, just not a good set there, and Minette came over and blocked it. To lead the Pioneers to this point, nobody else with more than three. So back-to-back -back triples, maybe they're warming up a little bit. Mary Wilson out there. Coyotes have had 12 or more in every single one of their Division I games this year. We've talked about how this team has struggled with the turnover. She would help some of that as well. Kyle's just trying to get the lid off here, and Olivia Keeper does just that. Kyle's have been up by as many as 18 before Denver clawed to within seven before that last break. As Jones gets the roll, drops one through. When they need a bucket and they need someone to try to create a bucket, they're going to get her the ball. Did it there. Holmes curls around, a lot of contact in there, no call, but she does seven points on one of eight shooting. She was one of six for three there, but she averaged 16 and a half over her previous five games yeah. before that one. But they kind of are tonight. I think they just came in knowing that South Dakota's had some troubles with that, and they've really ramped it up. So Robles plus the foul. It's her game. I mean, she's got handles, she's got quicks. South Dakota, we talked about, well, and a lot of it is in this second quarter, South Dakota's had to go against set defense, right, most of the quarter because they haven't gotten very many stops. Morgan Hansen off the mark there. You know, when you're taking the ball out of the net, it's really hard to have a rhythm offensively. You see Jones, who's just really kicked it into a different gear here in this second quarter, being aggressive, attacking. 
He's got nine points. Happy connects on a long jumper inside the arc. Well, USD really needed that one. Robles, though. Yeah, they trailed by 18 points at one time in this game. Council off the dribble and missed the free throw. Larkins is still out there. She's got to be really careful, Jay, to not get a fourth. Picks up her dribble here. And now Kyle's reset with Holmes. Inside the Walker to Mers. And South Dakota has a strength in the paint there. If they can get Demers to post up aggressively like that. Jones rattles home a triple. Really, yeah. honestly, a bona fide player that can create and put the ball on the floor and attack. And that's what you're seeing, like, on a possession like this. Bill Ambrosi does. Good ball screen. I was working around the outside. Here's Smith, and she'll reset late in the shot clock. Here, five remaining. Goes to work and powers through. And hits seven threes. Yeah. So five probably feels good if you're Kayla Karius. But yeah. over the last quarter and change, not much else has as Whip gives Denver. Council's range. If she's a step closer, Watch out, she can really drain it. Good turnaround, nice finish this time from Missouri. Took her time with that one. You, you've seen what you lack without her yeah, on, the, on the floor. I think you gotta get her out there and just see if you can spark your team. And Missouri there, just a really nice job using her physicality. She hasn't scored since. Wow, it's forced a turnover there. Larkins came into the night, one of the leading scorers in the Summit League. Gets a big three there. We have a great fourth here. With her time. And now South Dakota for the first time today showing some zone. And Smith, that's how you combat the zone. And she connects from the corner. You lose Smith in the corner there. She makes you pay. That's her second three of the night. Coyotes go back inside. Duffy, nice soft finish inside working on Smith. Duffy's a player in the second half of this well, the rest of the first half and, and throughout as Smith connects again. Back-to-back -back triples for her now, but Duffy. Five of the shot clock. Duffy again, left hand this time. But they walled it off. Yeah, you can tell she just wasn't comfortable shooting that mid-range jumper. It was wide open if she wanted it. Back inside, and the shot is blocked that time by Council. 48-45 as we go into our minute to go third quarter. Jones rises up. The shot she didn't take last yeah. time. She steps out a couple more feet, Brad, on the floor. This is going to be a tight contest down so. the stretch. Yeah, I think so. I think the, the good news if you're South Dakota is you got Grace Larkins out there. And she's there at the half after that last play. A lot of contact, as we said, underneath the basket. No foul was called. And Smith is heating up here. All right. Larkins inbounds to Holmes. A little alley oop finish there for Holmes. Robles in there. She's only 5'5, and so whoever she was guarding, they were going to put in the middle there. Robles throws a pass, and Smith wasn't looking for it. Now Larkins in transition. Now, now the sudden USD up four. 15 footer for Jones. Too strong. There's an offensive rebound. Second chance three here for Wilson. Jones just out muscles Larkins. Now Wilson tries again, and this time she gets it. Stages of this contest. Another chance here for the Pioneers to get back on tap. Top led just one time in this ball game, 39-37 at the 5:45 mark of the third quarter. Wilson trying to get back-to-back -back threes. Offensive rebound and a putback for Michaela Manette. Well, she averages seven boards a game, and she just used her athleticism to go up and get that board and put it in. Kyle's go inside. Demers plus the foul. They have gotten Walker Demers to be a physical presence inside. And just a great, strong move to the second team foul for South Dakota here in the fourth quarter. Under six minutes to play now. 59-55. Kyle's. Jokes. And taking their chances because she's been so aggressive trying to get downhill. They want to try to keep her out of the paint. 16 points now for JoJo Jones to lead all scores. Natalie Mazurik with an answer. Smith. Robles has not been able to attack much here in the second half. Somehow wow. ends up with a basketball back in her hands and falling down gets it to roll through the cylinder. For Angelina Robles. She's had a nice night for the Pioneers. 
Big three there for Kendall Holmes. They lead by five with 3.45 to play. Team with Larkins not producing at her normal rate due to the foul issues. With looking to answer, can't do it. Holmes the rebound. South Dakota up five and a chance to extend it more here. Inside it goes, Duffney off the window. Chance at a three-point play when we come back. Carly Duffney and the Coyotes in a battle here. See him sagging off, Robles hits the gas pedal. Boy, she's explosive wow. off the bounce, isn't she? 3.30 to go. We talked about their struggles in Vermillion as Mazurik. Boy, has she been huge tonight. Absolutely. Where would you have? Yeah, I would have. Kept, kept going to the rim yeah. on that one. Jones dumps it off. Nice cut there from Minette on the back side. Cuts it down to five. And Holmes gets some space. Okay. To push the lead to ten here as we approach the one minute mark. Minette scores up and over Missouri. Remember, used a lot of time there. Still haven't gotten a shot off here. You gotta get. Got to get one up, and there's Council, does that, and connects. Take another look at that last yeah. triple from Council, who has you know, been one of the bright spots, certainly offensively tonight for Denver, much less she has all season for the Pioneers. Yeah, I mean, she, but you're also not giving the ball up and giving the other team chances to score in transition. That's the other big piece of that. So Jones trying to get something quickly here, and she does. That's a really... Gutsy win for USD after they had an 18-point lead. Let it slip away to come back and get this one. 78-70 is your final.